Alright guys, I'm going to show you exactly how I buy wire uh, my speakers from my power amplifier. And basically, buy wiring is basically uh, separating your low frequencies from your high frequencies. And how that's done is using two different sort or two different wires or plugged into the same source. So what we'll basically want to do is what the configuration for this at the moment is, sorry, the configuration at the moment for this is where you plug into one set of binding posts and these gold plates will basically power both the highs and lows with the same amount of power. So what we would do is in order to separate these so that they're clear and less distortion basically is you get rid of these gold plates that bind them together. For example, one falls out just like that, and the other will also fall out. There it goes. And so now what you'd want to do is plug in your speaker cable how you want it into the lows. For example, these will be the lows, so this is already labeled positive and negative for me, so I don't have to worry about that. Usually you'd want to make these smaller connections so that you don't have speaker wire just exposed because oxidation does do some, uh, what's it called? Having uh, oxidized wires will cause something different, but here's what you want to do. Now you have your lows set up right here. And the next thing you would want to do is plug in your highs. And this is where they would want to plug in. So in this setup, there are covers that can come off, but I can't take them off for some reason. They won't want to come off, so I keep them on. So another way to plug in banana plugs and keep them secure is basically I'm using banana plugs, so one way to plug them in is this way. And I've tested this out myself and it's worked out for me perfectly fine. But you basically want to plug in this way. And once you do, you tighten them down. Tighten them and tighten them to make sure they don't move well at all. Same goes with this one. Tighten, tighten, tighten. Tighten them down. So now they won't move. And that's how you plug in on this side. And now I'm gonna show you how you plug in onto the amplifier side. So what you'll wanna do, it's the same thing, but on the amplifier side, except it's a little different because everything's this way. So you would unscrew these, plug into their holes that they have available, made available for you. And so you use the positive side to plug into the positive. And I'm just going this way, but yeah. So you wanna plug in this way, tighten that down as best you can, as much as you can, and do the same for the negative. And make sure that these are cramped, or crimped, clamped down and pressed together so you don't have loose strands plugging into each other. see how that's messing everything up and so go ahead and tighten this tighten it tighten it tighten it and go ahead and plug in to our inputs right here and you want to go ahead and tighten them down as much as you can and once you do and then you're gonna wanna go ahead and get your banana plugs. So these are, remember for the low frequencies, how they're plugged in over here. And now we're gonna go ahead and plug in the high frequencies. And now the high frequency will be plugged in via banana plug separate cable. And now you can tell how they're connected. And this only works when you have two separate binding posts. Otherwise this configuration won't matter uh, pertain to you at all. But, uh, 
these are just an example of how I do it, but uh, I have towers, for example, how uh, I would actually configure this and or how I would actually apply this, but the principle goes along the same way. So first things first, if you want to disconnect, do everything in reverse. So disconnect from the amplifier. Also make sure this is already not in there. Um, go ahead and get rid of these. Those would fall out, get rid of this. That's your input from the AVR receiver, like you said. And then you hold this down and so that it doesn't move. And you wanna go ahead and just loosen it so that it comes out there. Same with this one. And loosen it from this one. And it comes on down. And then the same for this side. Loosen it from loosen. They both come undone. And then now you can go ahead and plug these back in however they went pretty sure they went I think like this so one there one there and then me and then me and we can plug this and this one and then repeat for this There's a ring that it goes under so that it's snug. And then same. And then there. And then one down there. And then this one too. And then this one. There we go. And now I have a plug in. And then this one. Good.